And the Greenbrier County Board of Education held a special meeting today to approve its back to school plan. Newswatch reporter Jake Carolexis has more from the GSC maintenance building. All those in favor say aye. aye. After investing a large amount of time and work between the Board of Education and stakeholders, Greenbrier County Schools released its official plan for school reentry. The plan was unanimously approved in the board meeting this morning. It's a threefold plan based on the metrics of the infection rate. We're going to go to our health officials who have been with us from the very, very beginning to decide what is the best and safest way to start school. So we will be looking at the science and the health and safety of our students first. There will be a remote learning option for students of all ages. Finding a balance between in-person and remote learning was a challenge for the board and it will continue to be an important matter going forward. The challenge for all the school systems in West Virginia is this is a truly fluid situation. And like almost on page one of our plan, it states, although we have a plan, we developed it, it could change immediately. And so therefore we all have to be able to respond on the pivot, so to speak, uh, that this could change. A unique area of the return to school plan involves a different schedule at the elementary and secondary levels. Bryant explained that the reasoning behind this is twofold. The economic success of our community is dependent on whether those elementary students can come to school if it's safe each and every day. When we get to the secondary, it's just the sheer size of our secondary schools um, told us that we need to go 50-50 there. Let's break that up so there's not an overabundance of students in the school. In Greenbrier County, Jake Carolexis, Newswatch. The Board of Education is also providing adequate time on both elementary and secondary levels to work with remote learners. 